it's the 1st of December and all through the house the camera was higher and this is weird isn't it <laughs> yes advent is upon us once again and this year we shall be doing an advent calendar much like last year except for this year it's the least Christmassy thing I could possibly find <laughs> so let's get into it and oh god sorry I've just seen this thing again Military men. <laughs> oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, so I found a military men advent calendar. This came from Amazon. And it came from Amazon a little while ago when it was about £17. I had a look today and it's now £25. <laughs> because you're paying the, uh, the I left buying an advent calendar late tax. And they've just, you know, tacked on another eight quid for a laugh. Oh my god, it's enormous. <laughs> and it like folds in half and things. So yeah, this will be an interesting one to get into. Uh, from the look of this, it should go like that way when it's opened up. And it will never, ever, ever fit on camera. Ever. <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with Advent, it's a uh, semi-religious thing. Where, for some of the days of December, you open a calendar and eat chocolate, or a small plastic toy, or whatever takes you fancy. I'll be brutally honest with you, I don't know that much about Advent in different cultures. I assume they probably don't do it. Oh, oh, we've marked the box. <laughs> Let's get into this damn thing. I don't even know who makes this. Joyin. Joyin Advent Calendar. <laughs> Normally, they're things like Paw Patrol and other rubbish, but just uh, the concept of military men advent calendar is just hilarious to me. Oh shit. <laughs> Mission control and the, uh, the bloody LED backlighting is glaring off its something chronic. Let's turn that off. Oh no, now everything's too dark. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this thing. <laughs> It's it's a load of soldiers in pods for some reason. Uh, what have we got? Hang on, I'm going to have to angle the camera up for this. There we go. Look how bloody massive it is. <laughs> Sorry, the absurdity of this has uh, has got to me somewhat. So the trick with Advent is every single day we're going to have a short video opening the uh, the door on the calendar. There is number two that shall be tomorrow's. Number one is up the top. Where is it? <laughs> Oh dear, maybe we do it like this, this might be easier. <laughs> last year, I think we did a Star Wars one last year. Uh, a little weird Star Wars gooey people, and they were all pretty shite. This year, however, day one is usually good. So, ooh, what's in the door? Oh, God. Oh, it's this bloke. We're going to focus on him. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I... These don't feel bad, actually. <laughs> it's a little uh, four-inch figure. Well, three and seven somethings inch. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, man, these really remind me of... Um, oh, who makes them from the 90s? They were like knock-off G.I. Joe figures from um, some Chinese company. And I can't remember the name of them at all. He's got a little, uh, a little vest, a little pouch. No machine gun. I assume that will come on a different day. Unless there's a machine gun in the thing. No, there is not. <laughs> Perhaps he gets a machine gun tomorrow. <laughs> God's sake. Right, can we fo can we actually focus on this guy? Yeah, his paint's pretty good. Um, it's, it's not the best. It's very basic. A little bit of dry brushing on the vest. A little bit of camouflage on the trousers. Um, two massive screws in his back. He's already been pre-shot. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's your lot. One little man. <laughs> I, yeah, it's not the most Christmassy thing, is it? But then, that's the point of this advent calendar, I suppose. Hey kid, do you like Christmas? Well, tough shit. Now we're in Basra. Subscribe. Hello, boys and girls. 